It's easy to forget the worms in our gardens. After all, out of sight, out of mind, right? But worms like these beauties here are literally the foundation to a healthy, thriving garden. Love your soil and the worms in it and everything else will follow. Now let's burrow down into the detail of how to encourage these magnificent creatures. Worms can absorb oxygen through their skin, can eat their own body weight in soil in just one day and, despite having no eyes, navigate by sensing light and vibrations in the soil. Earthworms are hermaphrodites, meaning they've got both male and female organs. However, that doesn't mean you can cut them in half to make two worms, that's a myth. So please treat them with the care and respect they deserve. There are many types of earthworm, ranging in colour from pink to grey to red, and more besides. Some types live close to the soil surface, breaking down leaf litter and other plant debris to recycle nutrients back into the soil. Others are found throughout the soil, eating it as they pass through. Their movement mixes up the soil while creating a network of burrows that help water and air to move through the soil and in doing so, improve conditions for plant roots. And then there are the composting worms, like the super hungry tiger worm. These worms absolutely love nutrient dense organic matter. So dig down into any healthy functioning compost heap and you'll likely find some. Composting worms speed up decomposition and do a fantastic job of converting old organic matter back into available plant nutrients. Worm casts are among the very best plant food, forming a fine textured natural fertilizer absolutely loaded with nutrients, microbes and beneficial bacteria. And the worms themselves provide natural food for animals higher up the food chain, including birds, frogs and toads. Many of these creatures are hugely beneficial to gardeners, making significant dents into populations of pests such as snails, slugs and weevils too. The simplest way to boost the worm population is to keep your soil covered at all times. This is one of the reasons why vegetable growing areas are one of the very best places in the garden for worms. All that organic matter works to create ideal conditions for worms as well as your plants. Take a look at this. I topped this bed up with composted bark chippings a little over a month ago. Now, if I scoop down into the soil, oh, there you go. There's a couple of worms there. One, two, just in this little patch alone. And there'll be plenty more in here, all doing their marvelous job at turning this into plant food. Worms love mulch, which is a happy coincidence because so do our plants. The worms in your soil will gradually incorporate any organic matter you lay on the surface. And the more you add, the more worms you'll get. Add this organic matter whenever the ground is bare, usually in the autumn after most of the season's crops are done, but also during the summer as a top-up mulch that locks in soil moisture and continues to feed the soil and its worms. Digging disrupts the soil ripping at its fabric and destroying much of the good work of all those earthworms. So, wherever possible, don't do it. Just lay your organic matter on top of the soil and let the worms dig it in for you. This is absolutely the best way to build long-term soil structure and a vibrant matrix of soil life that together supports the optimal growth of your plants. Of course, you can't avoid digging entirely, for example, when lifting potatoes or digging larger planting holes. So how do you avoid hurting the worms when you have to dig? Simple, just use a fork instead of a spade. This simple swap significantly reduces the risk of accidentally cutting one in half. Natural surfaces encourage living soils. If you have areas of paving or other artificial surfaces, you can create areas rich in worms in other parts of your garden. Don't worry about the types of worms you have, just their general concentration. If you can't find any, it may be that your soil is very dry. Worms like moist soil, so thoroughly water the ground before applying mulches, then check soil moisture periodically and water if it does get very dry. Compost is a fantastic environment for worms and a great way to nourish your worms once it's spread out on garden beds. There's no time like the present to start a new compost heap 
And don't forget to collect fallen leaves in autumn to make leaf compost or leaf mould. How do you know when your compost is ready? Use the worms in your compost bin or heap as a guide. The fully decomposed material should sit below the line of active worms. So dig this out, then carefully return the worms and all the non-decomposed material above them to continue breaking down. Then there are lawns. Lawns left to grow a little longer offer better conditions down at the ground. Then when you do cut the grass, don't collect the clippings, just let them fall back onto the ground where they will return their nutrients to the soil and feed the worms. Worms are sensitive souls, so ditch the weed killers, artificial pesticides and other unnatural chemical laden products, which could harm them and other wildlife. Wherever possible, work with nature, opting for natural, organic means of weed and pest control. Worms are the unsung heroes of any productive garden. I just love them. Tell me why you love your worms and what you plan to do to help them. Whatever you do, I'm sure they will always return the favour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to subscribe. And to help you and your worms, how often is that phrase said? I've put together this handy playlist with everything from how to make a wormery to how to feed your soil. I'll catch you next time.